Hello everybody and welcome back to Battletech Bite Size episode number 11. Today we're going to be focusing on reputation. Reputation is something very very important that you need to keep an eye on for reasons which I shall explain. Now first off where do you find your reputation? All you need to do is go into the captain's quarters and click on reputation. If you just click on captain quarters but then like there's just this this button here faction reputation you just click on that and it gives you the uh, window with all the different factions that are available on the map and all your different reputations. As you can see, we're pretty much indifferent through most of these. Uh, some are on minus 10, some are on minus 5, clans are sort of all zero. Uh, I've done a couple of experiments with starts. It doesn't look like um, with just the regular starts. Like I've got one here which is actually for the uh, Torians. And from the most part, uh, all I can I can see from that is 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 5, 5, Pirates of minus 15. So as near as I can tell, for the most part, for the main ones anyway, I don't know. Um, I haven't obviously experimented with the clan stuff, but it seems to be that is kind of your default setting to start with. Um, now, what this basically controls is a couple of different things, one of which is the your ability to take certain level missions, and the other is access and prices at the shop. Now, um, what the, and in extreme cases, I'll, I'll you know, in ex extreme cases, you get special missions, um, which I'll explain in a minute. So basically, what happens is, is every time you take a mission, um, you will either gain or you will increase reputation depending on who you're taking it for and who you're taking it against. Now, for argument's sake, this particular mission here is against is for the Ori uh, Oregon Co Coalition, and it's against the Capellian Confederation. Now it is a one and a half skull mission. Now depending on what you do with regards to the payment etc. Well, as you can see this all changes. These numbers down here are the things you need to pay attention to. So the <clears throat> this number here is actually the amount of reputation gain. You will gain for the Oregon, the Oregon Coalition. Well that's a mouthful. And the minus six there is what will happen if you take the mission against them. So every single mission there is, there obviously there's the upside and there's the downside in the reputation. Um, what basically will happen is as your reputation increases with whichever... Um, whichever house you are when you go to the shop it will affect how the how the prices were so obviously the better your reputation with said um faction in the system that you're in your reputation the better your reputation the cheaper you get stuff and the more money you get when you sell uh, equipment and mechs as well as far as i'm aware it doesn't actually affect scrap value i could be wrong on that but i'm pretty sure the scrap value is pretty much the same across the board i don't i don't think that's wrong anyway um, so, so yeah, so you basically really, really need to pay attention to who your, you know, you know you, you, it is possible to just keep going and actually sort of balance it out. So, you know, the, um, you know, your reputation is pretty good with everybody. Um, but bear in mind, especially early on, the, uh, it does limit your options as to what skull mission you can take. So at the moment, you can see we can take up to a skull, two skull mission. That's basically the top tier of the star system that we're in. Now, um, because our reputation is where it is, if we went to a different system that, say, for argument's sake, a four skull, and our reputation was still at this level, we wouldn't be allowed to take a four skull mission because we haven't raised our... Uh, reputation with that faction enough for them to trust us to try the, to trust this your company to do the higher level or you know the more important missions shall we say uh, likewise the further down you go and the more into the minus you go the less likely you're gonna, they're going to give you missions and obviously it reduces the amount of missions basically you, so you can go down to a minus 100 um, there are a couple of different things for that First off, basically, you're going to be pretty much screwed when it comes to shopping because what happens is, is when you reach minus 100, uh, their store shuts. So if you are, for argument's sake, in the middle of, um, uh, you know, Oregon, uh, in the middle of the Oregon Coalition space, and you're like here, you're running out of money, you haven't got any parts to set, you haven't got any parts to scrap, but you do have uh, equipment that you want to sell. Um, if you're at minus 100, you can't do that and then you're knackered because you need to obviously you would need to travel to somewhere that likes you in order to sell your stuff if you don't have any scrap obviously i would advise keeping some around just in case 
Um, but yeah, it will make things extremely difficult because you will not be able to use the shop. Thus, you will not be able to buy anything and you will not be able to sell anything either. This is equally important late game, especially when you fur go further up the map and you start getting to deal with clan territory. So you've got clan ghost bear and uh, clan wolf. Uh, Jade Falcon, etc. When you 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 cannot take missions for these guys, so there is no way for you to build your reputation back up. This in of itself isn't particularly an issue because you know more often than not you're going to get all the gear that you want by like you know by salvaging the mechs. What this does mean, however, is it means that if you are again in the middle of clan space and that particular faction absolutely hates you, which is going to happen. Uh, and you get stuck with no money and you need to sell stuff, you can't because you have no access to the shop and there is no way for you to build said reputation back up with the clans. This is That is a specific thing with the clans. So bear that in mind. It is going to make a big difference to what you do uh, early on. Uh, and I just went to the wrong to the wrong thing. Um, so yeah, and the other issue, the other thing that you can have, um, you can... Uh, what will happen is when you when you get to minus uh, 100 you will the only missions you are able to take for that particular faction will be half skulls and that will they will usually give you a plus 2 to your reputation with them so if you get to minus 100 it's going to be a lot of half skull missions for you to have to grind through. I'm actually currently having to do that on my Twitch playthrough because I just went blase and just attacked everybody and anybody. Um, like a uh, typical example, the Lyrians. Um, I'm having to do half skull missions because I want to be able to enter Jade Falcon space. And a lot of the missions there are for the Lyrians and they absolutely hate me. So I can't take the five skull missions for them. So I'm having to grind back through and get my, you know, grind through all the half skull missions and then up to the one skull, then up to the one and a half, etc. Um, in order to be able to do the higher skull missions in there. So bear in mind, it's not, you may look at it and think, ah, it doesn't matter. You know, it's not going to, um, you know, the shop's not going to affect me. I'm just going to get everything I want. Um, but there are obviously other things you need to take into consideration, especially primarily being the one that when you want to take the higher tier missions uh you will find especially when you get to clan space that they can be quite limiting because if you are only favored by one particular house uh for example like you know the draconis combine love you but everybody else hates you you know the draconis combine isn't going to have enough missions per planet for you to be able to do it you know for you to be able to comfortably sustain yourself so you need to try and make sure you've got a couple of houses at least that you know will allow you to take missions for them uh, one of the other things that can happen as well is when you are at minus 100 to give you a boost uh, there is a uh, what's called an ambush mission so what happens is is you'll be in the argo and say for argument's sake you're sitting there and you're waiting for the you know waiting for a mech to be repaired or something uh, a pop-up mission will happen that you basically have to respond to and it's usually i think it's along the lines of uh, one of your pilots is down on that particular planet gathering supplies and whichever particular house it is that hates you um will ambush you with x amount of mechs uh, and you basically have to send one mech to go and deal with that a little ambush squad that goes deep once you've completed that and if you win it you will gain a bonus to tw a bonus of 20 positive reputation towards that company it's kind of weird because it's like we hate you so we're gonna ambush you and then you kick our ass and then now all of a sudden we like you a little bit more than we did before. It kind of does logic doesn't really work in that scenario for me, but that's just basically the way it does it. Now bear in mind once you've done that mission, initially it will say it will give you a minus twenty or a sorry a minus two when you beat them or whatever the thing is. But what happens if you like wait a day? You will have another window that pops up that says um, like that mission debrief. Uh, and depending on whether you won it or when you lost, whether you lost it, the I'll opt the um, the selection will be highlighted. You obviously, if you've won it, you click the highlight that you know you click the I won button, and then it will give you your twenty reputation from there. So it's not immediately apparent. That's what it does, but it does do that after the fact. Uh, apart from that, guys, that's pretty much about it with regards to reputation. There's a, you know there's a few like little you know little caveats that go with it. Obviously, with the clan space and things that I wanted to make sure you guys knew about. Um, 
if you are finding the series helpful, and you know, and obviously this particular video in uh, helpful if it's explained some things to you, please don't forget to leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. I have got more content coming out for this as you know, thick as fast as I can. Uh, don't forget to come and see me on Twitch. I stream every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. Uh, BattleTech, I definitely stream every Monday. That's my staple, and then you know, I can sometimes stream it on a Saturday as well. Um, you know, if you want to drop in and have a chat about stuff, then or just chat about BattleTech in general any day, any day of the week that I'm streaming, you're more than welcome to join. Uh, apart from that, that's me done today, guys. Hope you stay safe. Have a good one, and I'm out. Bye bye.